guys, how are you? Today we are finally going to be testing the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Salt Root Palette. Here it is. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love the packaging, the shiny things always attract me for some reason. <laughs> this palette was released for a while, but I didn't have a chance to grab it because it was available on Anastasia Beverly Hills website in the US and unfortunately to ship it to Canada from Anastasia Beverly Hills site is $20, which is like one third of the palette. So I never did it. It finally became available in Sephora in Canada on October 9th, I believe. So I grabbed it. Here we are. Gonna be reviewing the new palette, the Sultry palette. Honestly, I'm a big fan of Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. Most of her palettes do perform very well. I have all of them. Well, I have all of them starting from Modern Renaissance. I think there was a Mario before that or in somewhere in between. I don't have the Mario palette and I don't have the Subculture palette. Everything else I have and I absolutely adore her mattes. I usually blend beautifully. Her shimmers sometimes need a little bit of a kick off the wet brush. Overall, I'm really, really, really obsessed with her actually eyeshadows. So I'm usually super excited about her new releases. Normally in Canada, you can buy Anastasia Beverly Hills palette for $55 Canadian plus tax. I kind of assume that would be the price and I just checked the uh, Sephora and apparently it's $59 so we have a um, price increase of $4 Canadian. So that was kind of interesting and it's funny that I know by heart how much Anastasia's palettes cost. What does it tell you about me? Let's start the review of the palette. This is the external packaging, gorgeous, shiny, love it. I kind of expected it to be more like um, glossy when I saw it online. I thought it would be like you know glossy shiny but no it's actually you feel the texture, you feel the glitter being stuck to the packaging. So when you open it, it has exactly the same internal package and the actual packaging of the palette. Very similar. Also I thought it would be glossy, but no, it's actually like a glitter stuck to the palette. Anastasia's palettes, I think all of them are cruelty free. In each eyeshadow you have 0 0.83 grams or 0 0.029 ounce each. Okay, let's open it. I'm gonna get rid of the brush right away because it's gonna fall. So here we are, we have 14 eyeshadows, seven of them matte and seven of them shimmers. They are absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, I don't even know how I still don't have my fingerprints on that. I opened it to check if everything was okay with the palette, but I did not swatch any of it. I was just waiting, you know, to do the first impressions kind of thing. I am super excited, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm super excited for the shade Cyber, the silver shade. I know this is not something typical for a lot of palettes. Most of the palettes go for the warm tone, but this one is something that I'm super, super attracted. This palette is consists mostly of the, I don't think mostly, like this palette consists of the cool tones, shimmers and mattes. I think I wanna start with the eyes first, and then we're gonna do swatches once the eyes are done. I was thinking of following this kind of vibe in here. I already have my eyes primed. I'm gonna zoom in closer so you can see how the eyeshadows blend, and we go not big gain from there. So we're nice and close. Very uncomfortable close, I gotta tell you. So the first shade I wanna go is, it's called Flash. That's the shade I wanna just set my eyeshadow primer. These eyeshadows are super powdery, which is a common thing with Anastasia's eyeshadows. It's a white shade, who cares? We're gonna go in this shade called Slate and use it as a transition. And notice that on this eye, I always have like two spots that the eyeshadows initially skip. And honestly, with some eyeshadows, I can fix it. With some, I can't. And I see right now, again, some skipping, but it's such a normal thing to happen on my eye, on the left eye. So it really doesn't really bother me anymore. I mean, I still want to blend it. I kind of like that gray. Probably going to be the minority of people that actually like the gray color. I'm going to go in the, with the smaller blending brush and get in the shade, the pink shade called blue. And and focus a little bit lower in the crease. Super powdery as well, but also super pigmented. I don't know what the heck, the gray shade disappeared somewhere. <laughs> But I'm not complaining, I am actually liking a lot how this one is turning so far. So I'm just gonna clean a little bit so I can uh, put the cyborg, right? I'm gonna go in the shade cyborg, the gray shade, apply it all over my lid. And I should probably, knowing Anastasia's, I should wet my brush to make sure it is gorgeous and beautiful. I'm having a hard time picking up the shade. 
but it's really pigmented, definitely. Okay, probably better off with the finger. Weird. Why does brush doesn't pick up? This eyeshadow applies way better with the finger than with the brush. I just don't like it applying with the finger because with my fat fingers, I have no precision whatsoever. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I wish I would have more luck applying it with the brush. I don't know if it has to do anything with the brush. Maybe I should try a different brush and see if it's better or not. I have a better luck with natural hair brush. I don't know. I'm just gonna go in the shade Bloom, the pink shade, and I wanna reblend the outer corner a little bit. I like the look a lot. I thought it would be more, um, I guess, more silverish than it is. I wish I was able to pick up the eyeshadow, the cyborg eyeshadow with the brush, but honestly, have way more luck picking up this eyeshadow with uh, your finger, and it definitely gives you way more pigment with the finger than with the brush. Uh, synthetic brush, it just, it just doesn't pick up the color. I don't understand why. It's super super strange. I'm liking how my eyeshadows look. I I see definitely more pink vibe than uh, like a silver vibe, which is fine. I don't mind it. I think it looks pretty. Um, as I said, yeah, like I wished uh, I had more precision with this eyeshadow, with the brush, than with fingers. It is still gorgeous. It is still pretty. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna come back to give you the swatches and the thoughts on how everything is looking. So the rest of the makeup is done. My eyes are looking super cute and pretty damn good. I'm enjoying my eye look. I did finish my lower lash and I applied first bloom and then slate and I just smudged it on my lower lash. I did uh, use pearl in my inner corner uh, just to, you know, like give some uh, pop of color. I did wet my brush with that because I didn't feel like it was giving me enough shine. So that's that. So far it is looking absolutely gorgeous. I'm really... Uh, I always have high hopes for Nastasia Beverly Hills palette. They're usually pretty damn good. I'm still kind of confused why would this shade Cyborg not be willing to be picked up by brush. So only finger would work with this shade. So it's kind of strange. Maybe I would have a better luck if I would use natural hair brush. I don't think I have anything in natural hair that is like a flat kind of brush. So it's a mystery to me. So I'm going to do swatches on my arm and I'm going to show you guys how it all swatched. And we gonna, we're going to talk a little bit about it. <laughs> First row we have Fresh, Pearl, Steampunk, Rose Quartz, Amber, Bloom, Birch. The second row we have Cinder, Twig, Tick, Dystopian, Cyber, Slate, and Noir. So all the shades pretty much swatched beautifully except Dystopian and Slate. These two shades, the dark brown and the gray one that we used in the eyes, didn't swatch as beautiful as the rest, but we tried slate. The slate was very beautiful. The only one that I'm kind of concerned is the dystopian, the brown shade that uh, was super, super patchy on the swatch, like was skipping a lot. So that could be an issue um, eyeshadow, but the rest are absolutely gorgeous and I'm sure they are gorgeous. It was kind of interesting to see that the cyborg shade, I'm trying to rotate my arm. <laughs> The cyber appeared way more silver in the palette than it actually uh, shows up. When you swatch it, it's more like giving you the pink vibe, which is kind of interesting. I was hoping more for the silver one. Overall, the eyeshadow is beautiful. I'm still kind of confused in why the hell I wouldn't apply with the brush. But the finger, um, everything is looking absolutely stunning. I'm really enjoying my eye look. I don't really have bad things to say. The only thing that is kind of confusing and annoying is that it's $4 more expensive. Why the hell? <laughs> I'm really enjoying this palette so far. I'm sure it will last all day beautifully, no problem. If it doesn't, I'm gonna put it in the description box below, but I highly doubt I'm gonna have any issues with this eyeshadows lasting all day on my face. I like the packaging. I like the shades in the palette. Very beautiful. I can see myself using it a lot and um, I can't wait to play with other shades. Super excited. So I think this is it for the review. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on my Instagram and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.